Time to look at my travel skincare bag for a month's worth of travel or even just for a week. I will be traveling soon and the contents of my bathroom will be coming along with me. To carry all my skincare products, I use this bag from Ouija, which I recently purchased. It has a nice neck compartment at the front, I can see everything, and it allows everything to stay flat for less bulkier backpack. Not forgetting, unzipping the bag is easy too. All my travel minis fits perfectly, including my lush face mask tub and two boxes of disposable contact lenses. My travel skincare packing is not a tricky task for me compared to packing my makeup or my clothes. My routine is fairly simple and it's quite straightforward. I don't think I have a lot to bring, so I got my packing down to an art over the years and I hope that you pick up some ideas or maybe some tips along the way. My number one rule is to never bring full-size products when you travel. They take up too much room and weight and you can rarely finish them. So instead, I swear by little travel pots and bottles. This one right here is a mini pot that previously contained an eye cream, which I bought from Body Shop. Instead of chucking it away, I reuse it. Besides that, everything else is from Muiji. They are almost always leak-proof, and for some, like this one, is conveniently designed to stack, saving you lots of space in the bag. Alternatively, you can find travel mini pots and bottles from pharmacies like Watson's, Caring, or if you walk into a Sephora store, you can find various different versions. If you like cheaper ones, you can also find in Daiso. So I start by working out what I'm going to use most and allocate different size containers. I'm telling you, this process is so worth doing. Look at this, I can fit in my L'Oreal Day Cream from this glass container into a mini container. Here's the big question, will I use this every day and finish the entire thing? If no, put it in a pot. If yes, they can come along, like my Lush Brazen Honey Face Mask, or my Nivea Lip Butter Vanilla and Macadamia to keep my lips from drying. It's small, flat, and easy to carry anywhere. The mini size travel containers mean you can run through your skincare routine as if you were at home. I remove my makeup off my face with Nivea's makeup and eye remover, the most gentle, hydrating and efficient product I've ever used. I like to double cleanse, so I will bring my White Perfect Scrub by L'Oreal which I've used for many years to cleanse my face. Then Lush Brazen Honey Face Mask to make my skin feel squeaky clean but not dried out. Next, the whitening and moisturizing toner of sorts. It exfoliates to smoothen my skin, plus it has melanin block and vitamin C to brighten my skin and complexion. Time to moisturize. I start with my Skin Source Yilong Rich Blend. It's one of my favorites. Light and refreshing on my face, suitable in other parts of my body, and conveniently portioned for travel. Then, face cream options. My all-time go-to has always been the L'Oreal White Perfect Day Cream. It has SPF 17 to protect my skin from harsh and constant change in climate. Not forgetting my trusted Palmer's Coconut Oil Body Lotion for my dry skin, but I chose the stackable mini pots for this one, knowing that I'll be stocking up on more body lotion while I'm away. I'm very low maintenance when it comes to hair, so I'm bringing a broken piece of my comb, my hair clip, a hair scrunchie, and my favorite Briogeo Curl Charisma Cream to keep my curls looking lively throughout the day. Onto the essentials and boring bits now. Tiny toothpaste, Bongella, always comes in handy if I get ulcers. Toothbrush, razor, a couple of must-bring items, contact lens case, solutions, and eye drops. Time to put all of that back in and I'm ready to go. I sometimes have leftovers in my mini travel pots from my previous trips. Instead of wasting, I can either continue using them and refill whenever I need it. And trust me, at some point in your packing, you'll realize you really don't need much. That's it. I'd love to hear how you pack your skincare items and don't forget to share any of your travel tips and hacks in the comment below. Stay tuned for more of my travel videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.